a great way to reach your student or students, whole group or individually is through Zoom. And I'm showing you the back end today. Pretend I am working with my student, uh, Bear, over there. Hey, Bear. <laughs> So this is what Zoom would look like for you as the teacher. Now, if I don't want to show my face, I would go over here to stop video and it would just be um, bare and uh, my image, but I don't want that. And if I don't want to be heard, I would unmute. I would mute. And if I do want to be heard, I would unmute. Um, and to, at the very basic, you have now connection with your student and you can do anything that you can do, you know, in person with them, you can, that you can show them, you can do the same things with um, the screen of, with Zoom. So say you were using um, your Read It cards. These are uh, classic reading simplified activities for kids working at short vowel words, one syllable words. And so I might tell, um, the bear. Hey, bear, I want you to help me read this word. Okay, I'm, let me bring it close to the screen. There we go. What is the word? That's right. So bear said best. <laughs> Thank you, bear. And that's one way. So you can, of course, show um, cards. You can also show text. This is old fashioned, but it can work. Now, um, the next way that you can use Zoom together with your students is by sharing your screen. So you're going to go down here to share. And all the different tabs and applications you have will be open. I'm going to use this one. And I click share. Maybe I want them to play Switch It with me. And I'm going to use this activity, um, this tool, reallygreatreading.com at Letter Tiles. It's free right now, so I'm going to have them help me. Okay, Bear, we're going to build the word smell. Um, what's the next sound? We've already got s mm built. What's the next sound we need to bring down to make smell? We have s mm. What's next? Bear says eh, so I bring it down for bear, so that's one way of doing it. If you really want to get fancy, you could share the cursor with bear and give mouse keyboard control to someone else, give it to the, a child one at a time specifically. So that's a way for your student one at a time to control your screen pretty mind-blowing but bears not that good so I'm not going to give it to bear right now um, so sharing your screen let's play um, this game if you shared your screen and had remote control you could um, have your students do um, sort it type activities this is like the O sound so maybe they're going to play match um, in Quizlet a fabulous program for making all kinds of games so it's kind of sluggish here because we're also recording and we're on zoom it's very meta okay make everything disappear drag corresponding items onto each other to make them disappear so I would have given yeah thanks bears helping out he's going to control the mouse this time maybe I'm giving him more trust toad goes over here and soaked. What is soaked? Oh, she looks soaked. And bow and arrow goes over here. So we're reading the words. And if bear gets stuck, oh, that's a tricky one. Um, this is what that O right here. This is that O that separated. But try the O sound after the mole. That's right, mole. Which one's mole? And so that is an example of remote control sharing with the, the mouse with another student on a share screen. But there's one more thing that's really important. You might use it a lot. So I'm going to stop my share and I'm going to, I am going to annotate. Share. Okay, that's right. We're going to go into whiteboard. So it's share and then let's share a whiteboard. And this is automatically enabling your students from all over to write 
draw um, all collaboratively. So um, let's say we're building, I'm going to make them um, sort words. I could have had this already ready. I'm going to create these, make them, so I'm going to press return, get out of that. Actually, nope, I'm going to click away from that. And I'm going to type another words. Well, click out of it. Click out of it. Click, type. So, click to, click to get out of it. I keep pressing return. Um, <clears throat> so over here, I might do the O by itself. Go home to our key sentence. Go home to show the boat to Joe. We don't need, we need this one. And so, okay, Bear, I need your help um, reading these words. And the first word right here at the top, can you help me read? These are all O words, remember? And Bear is going to read the word boat. And Bear is then going to drag the O sound, the O word. Well, I think there's a way to drag. Oh, I got to get select. Get the select tool. There we go, right here. Bear's going to choose select. And Bear drags the word into the right column. Boat. Ah, that's right, boat. Bear. Now, if Bear had any friends like Flamingo, then I would give it to Flamingo. Flamingo, it's your turn. Go to select and read this next word. What is that? Put the sound together as you grow. Slow. Oh, that's right. Slow. So drag, Flamingo, drag slow into the right column. So that is an example of doing sort it. Um, with your a small group, you could even do a whole class. Probably it would get pretty hectic, but a small group would work great. So let's um, clear the board, clear all drawings or my drawings or viewers' drawings. Let's just clear all. And now I'm going to ask um, Bear to help me again. Bear, I would like for you to to type out the key sentence for the O sound. Now, what is it? Remember to click on the text, the T for text, and start typing the key sentence. Okay, Bear, you can do this. And he's going to say, go home to show the boat to Joe. Way to go. You remembered the whole thing. And the only... Um, uh, fix is the O in show. So I'm going to go to, as a teacher, I'm going to go to the spotlight. I'm going to go over here and draw attention to this. This is actually not the right, right O for go home to show the boat to Joe. Let's fix that. This is the O in show. Remember that? The same O is in slow and is in grow. So we're going to need to go back and to this and fix it. We'll select this and we'll stick it over that, which is not the best. <laughs> there may be a better technology, but I'm just going to then do this for the student. Yes, this is the way we write the word show. Does everybody know that? So go home to show the boat to Joe. And maybe as a teacher, I would rewrite it. Go home to show the boat to Joe. And the last thing that we can do, a classic reading simplified activity after we've done some of this, write it. This is an example of write it is then to um, underline um, or highlight in some way the target spelling. So let's have some fun. Let's delete, let's, let's see. Yeah, let's go to stamp, okay? So uh, Bear, um, do you wanna pick a star or a heart for your stamp? So go up to stamps and pick a star or a heart. And then I want you to put that, okay, Bear says star. I want you to put a star over every spelling of the O sound. Go one here, one here. It's kind of a combo one, right? Yes, Bear. Bear's really getting all of them, all these O's. Way to go, Bear. So you see that Zoom has so many potentials for you as a teacher. You don't have to give up interactivity, and you can make it fun. And um, be sure to... Start your session the first time with Zoom just playing games, finding things. Like, let's see who can um, 
share their screen the fastest and let's hide everyone's screen. And now let's everybody mute and say, hello, class. And now let's see how fast we can um, go unmute. Another really important lesson is to teach them about the sharing video to uh, start their video or stop their video. So when you are coaching kids through the functionality and you're wanting to make sure that they don't share something on the screen that they don't intend to, make them understand that even if they don't see themselves on the screen, like if they're looking at the Zoom call on a mobile, they may not see themselves. And sometimes even if they're using a computer, um, Zoom will only show some of the faces. So other people may see them, but even though they don't see themselves. So if that start video button is on, if the green light is on a computer showing that there's a video running, don't pick your nose. Make sure you certainly don't take this device to the bathroom. Assume that someone's always watching, even if you can't see yourself on the Zoom screen. So that's a little tidbit to help keep our kids safe and not embarrassed. Couple more possibilities with Zoom. Here you go. You can, after sharing your screen, you can stop share right here, the red button. And anytime before or in the middle, you can start the record button and record this. After you end the show, Zoom will process it for a few minutes and create a file and you can send that file to students who maybe weren't able to participate. Or you can just make a recording of the read alouds and your students can listen to them over and over again. There's a lot of possibilities so I encourage you to record these and file them in a systematic way. Um, maybe label it the date, the group, the activity, some sort of um, pattern that you and parents will get accustomed to and teach and students. So record is a fabulous bonus to, to Zoom. Um, also when you're sharing screen you can do maybe our sorted um, activity. So I'm sharing screen, I'm going to go to this uh, PDF, I already have this PDF on my computer, so I click on that and click share and if I want the students to write on this, um, they can annotate themselves like we did with uh, another activity. They can go to text and um, they can type in words. So I might ask, um, I might ask Bear to tell me what that first word, the first word on the left is. And remember these all have the O sound and Bear reads it boat. That's right, Bear. Um, where does boat go? Can you type boat in the right place? And Bear would be able to type boat. So, and if he made a mistake, I would um, clear that. So, that's something that kids can do. Of course, they can draw and maybe they can write by hand, but I think this is just not the ideal way of writing with a mouse. If they have a stylus, of course, let them go to it. And so any PDF that you already have, students can type on it from afar. And then finally, after we um, stop share, it's gonna be time to say goodbye. So you tell everybody, and now we'll see you tomorrow at the same time. And you click end meeting and your Zoom is over. And if you were recording it, record on this computer. You'll get a few seconds. You can see in this upper left hand corner, it says recording. If you want to record from the beginning, but then something comes up like a big interruption, you can press pause, but it's sometimes easy to forget that you did pause, so you may or may not want to do that. And then say goodbye everybody, and you're gonna end the meeting. End the meeting for all, and notice you are getting a recording. So I hope that you find uh, more and more possibilities with Zoom, and again, one more time, here's to making great readers.